Hello, my name's Adam, and the world's been a bit of a weird place recently, due to the coronavirus. However, we're now finally returning to normal. But over lockdown, I decided to go on a bulk, and now it's time to cut down. I've set myself the challenge to see how lean I can get in just six weeks. So as I mentioned, I have been in a bulk for the past three months and I started my bulk at a weight of 168 pounds and being a guy that's six foot two, that's pretty skinny. So basically what I wanted to do was just put on a bit of size, which is what, what I've done. When I was on the bulk, I was consuming roughly 3,300 calories. We're now looking to drop that back down to roughly two and a half thousand calories. Uh, at the time, I never took a body fat percentage test. So I'm not 100% sure what that was. If it was to make an estimate, I would probably say roughly 20%, maybe 25 at the very most. And um, yeah, so now we're looking to just strip down the fat, get as lean as possible in, in the six weeks that we set ourselves for this challenge. So these are my current full body measurements. So guys, welcome back to day number two of the six week challenge. This is my first hit workout. I thought you guys may get some enjoyment of watching me get absolutely ruined by Joe Wicks. Um, I'm going to be watching his hit workout series. A any videos that I watch um, of other workouts, I will link in the description. Um, so you guys, if you want, you can try them yourself. So let's get into it. I'm absolutely done in, man. I don't even know how people even do that for fun. Because that is fucking horrible. So that was a pretty sick workout, although it's about 4 billion degrees in here, so it's it's just ridiculously uncomfortable. It's just too hot. Um, anyway, you probably would have seen me on my phone at some point.
and no, I wasn't playing Candy Crush and no, this isn't an advert for Rage Shadow Legends. Uh, what I used to do on my phone is track my lifts, it's just to make sure that I'm progressing in terms of weight, sets and reps. And it's actually a really good way to backtrack and see where you have been and where you're going, just to keep you on the, on the right lines. Anyway, I'm going to go and grab some food and I will check in with you guys in a few days. So I managed to pick myself up some exercise bands. Um, I will be doing an in-depth video on these um, with exercises that you can do. As you can see, I'm already doing exercises here, but there's loads and loads of stuff you can do with exercise bands. And I highly recommend getting some if you haven't already got any. They're just a really great tool to have. When you're working out, they're, they're a great option. Highly recommended. What's happening people? Uh, we've got another sick day once again um, and today I'm going to try and show you my abs routine without sweating too much. Um, so I've put this abs routine together just because it targets every single area of the abs. It's really straightforward um, so if you want to follow along uh, please feel free to do so. There will be an in-depth video down in the description as well so again check that out. Uh, let's get stuck in. So before anyone starts with the weight that I've got on the bar, I just want to say I've got a bad, I had a bad knee at the time, um, so that's why the weight's so light, there's probably only about 25 kilos on there, maybe, probably fucking piece of piss for most people, um, it's just, I, I had a bad knee, I didn't want to push it, um, so don't hate on me in the comments, please, thank you very much. So this day here should have actually been a rest day. However, I do tend to stay active, whether that's just with light cardio or accessory work. I mean, as you can see here, doing a few push-ups. Um, on the last clip you'll see, I've actually modified a handstand push-up, which targets the front delts. However, I couldn't do a handstand push-up. They're just ridiculously hard to do if anyone has ever tried them. You can always modify exercises to make them easier or make them more difficult and more challenging, again, to progressively overload the muscles that you're training. So as you just saw there, I've got a couple of brand new products from my protein, um, just to give them a test really, just to see how they are. I will be doing a video in depth of all the supplements that I use and the, the supplements that I think are best to take. 
Um, and then again, like I said before, just doing some accessory work here, um, just working those smaller muscles that you don't usually get to target, which are gonna help on your compound movements and help you get a lot stronger on those um, more difficult, challenging lifts. So basically in the last week of this challenge I pretty much tried to burn as many calories as possible just by doing as much cardio as possible. Uh, as you saw just playing football, did a few runs the day before. Cardio can literally come in any shape or form. You can literally do whatever you want as long as you get your heart rate going. So we managed to finish the six week challenge off at a weight of 187 pounds and four ounces. Which is okay, it's a six pound and eight ounce loss. I feel over the six weeks, I, I probably recomped more, which is where you put muscle on whilst losing fat. I feel like I did that a lot more than just losing fat. Um, in terms of measurements, both my biceps went on to 15 inches, which I'm really pleased about. Uh, chest stayed the same. Uh, waist dropped two inches, again, which is really good. Uh, quads and calves both, they, both stay the same. Forearms stay the same. And my belly went to 35 inches which is probably the biggest drop of them all but my physique has definitely changed which i'm really really happy about i also feel a lot fitter as well which again is another positive and another reason why i decided to do this challenge i am going to be doing a discussion video so if there's any questions you want me to answer um i will be talking about a few things that i thought of during this challenge so if you want to see that if you want to ask any questions please leave them in the comments and thank you very much for watching this six-week challenge.